for over a year, the chief medical director of Federal Medical Center, Oware, was on suspension to allow the government to investigate allegations of corruption leveled against her. Her reinstatement last week after a committee by the Ministry of Health exonerated her was, however, greeted by massive protest in Oware. Workers marched through the streets protesting her reinstatement. They claim that her reinstatement violates the civil service rule. We have come to say that we know only of a public service rule, public service rule, PSR. But today, in the case of FMC, it appears there is a public master's rule now. We should, we should demarcate between what Buhari believes and what some of his ministers believe. Just like his wife said, some do not believe in the anti-corruption war. So as soon as they heard, and they got wind of the fact that she has finally been charged, which was the excuse they were giving us, they decided to crown her with reinstatement. Both the Nigeria Labour Congress and the Trade Union Congress have also given the federal government a 21-day ultimatum to sack the chief medical director because of the case she has with the EFCC. I think this is a certified true copy of the processes of court. But to our utmost surprise, five days after she was arraigned, we are told that on the 16th of this month, the Minister of State for Health, who supervises the federal medical centers, wrote a letter and directed that she should resume work. Contrary to the provision of public service rule, and despite the fact that they knew that she was arraigned in court by EFCC, and that, I think, to us, is impunity at the highest level. Meanwhile, the woman in the eye of the storm the chief medical director insists that her accusers cannot be the judges in their own case management is under authority of the owners of the hospital so i think the staff cannot be the accusers and the judge in any matter they need to allow everybody to do their work i'm very sad to hear the talk about downing tools because it's uncalled for you know in a situation where so many nigerians are looking for jobs as it stands, services of the Federal Medical Center in Oware, Imo State Capital, have been grounded since the protest started last week. Ultimately, the masses are the ones bearing the brunt.